And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Azir Renekton. We're going to have our very first Sharima deck. We're going all out on Sharima. We're going 40 Sharima cards. We're going to be trying to restore the Sun Disk. And that's going to be our plan. That's We're building around the Buried Sun Disk and our Ascended Allies. Um, you know, Ascendance Rise. This is going to be what we're going to do for our very first deck. This is going to be pretty exciting. So our game plan is to basically just kind of chill, right? And just be able to put some units in play. Let's get Azir, um, three mana champion in play, and Renekton, a four mana champion in play. Try to get one copy of each in play, and then play, and of course have our Buried Sun Disc. Because we're going to start the game where we're going to draw a Buried Sun Disc, since we all of our cards will be Sherimian. All 40. So we're going to start uh, by drawing one. And so we'll play that on turn one. Try to get both of our champions in play. And then play Ascendance Rise. And that will level up our level one Ascended Allies. So immediately Renekton will go to level two. And um, Azir will go to level two. So they'll both be at level two. And so with them going to level two, them both leveling up, it will advance the um, Sun Disk 20 rounds, right? 10 for each one. And so then it will, you know, it starts at 25, get rid of 20 of them. And of course, by the time we do that, we've probably already played five turns because each turn you get, you get the countdown. And so that would be the 25 and we would restore the Sun Disk at that point. Um, I guess you can't really look at the restored Sun Disk, which is kind of weird. But whenever we do restore the Sun Disk, then both, both of our champions that just leveled up to level one will go straight to level three and they're going to be incredible champions. And so hopefully we get to do this and have the Emperor's deck and do some crazy stuff. Um, that's going to be the goal there. Whenever I was putting this deck together just a little bit ago, I really noticed how there's a lot of cards in Sharima. A lot of good unit. Like, if we're, I was trying to figure out, like, which followers to play. And with Sharima, there's a lot of good three and four mana followers. And so picking out the exact ones was kind of difficult. I'm going with a couple of Xenotype researchers, a couple of devoted councils at three mana i feel like a lot of people are going to be playing landmarks right now so i want desert naturalist to be able to destroy landmark um golden ambassador of course is obvious with the allegiance um so th those are going to be the other four mana ones that we're going to go with but that's still that's you know eight fours that's a lot of fours whenever you have renekton in there also but the thing is is um sharima doesn't really have like a whole lot of great top end cards right like there's no like leviathans and um you know, Captain Farron's or, you know, like th those kind of cards that like your top end cards that you're, if, you know, your Eclipse Dragons, that kind of stuff that you're definitely putting in decks. Um, so this will be a lot of fun to play. There's going to be a whole bunch of new cards. I'm excited about each an hourglass. Let's just get to it. I'm real excited to play. Uh, ranked uh, season just reset, of course, and looks like there's also an update available. So we'll let's do that. Okay, we got a... Similar type deck, all Shrima. They're going with Talia for their other champion. I don't have any champions. I kind of want to keep this Ascendance Rise, um, but we want to look for champions. I mean, I guess this thing's like a one drop. We could maybe keep that. All right, you know what? Sorry, Ascendance Rise. Well, let's look for some champions. Okay, cool. We got one back anyway. I'm really glad we mulliganed it, considering we got one back. Whoa. Look how lucky we were. We drew a buried sun disk. We got the brand new board. I'm already liking this board music. The Emperor commands. The land obeys. Ooh. That thing's nice. I got three of those in my deck as well. Man, those sand soldiers are so stabby. They're like stabby soldiers. When allies attack, summon a stabby soldier. Okay. You never forgot us. We will not forget you. Okay, so I want to trade 2-2 two, two for 2-1, two, and we will just take the 2. I mean, I feel like we'll be able to heal our nexus and everything, so it's probably not the worst. Um, all right, so I have two Desert Naturalists. Let's, I think I'm going to just play a Naturalist and just destroy the Sun Disk. 
So four mana is what Talia cost. Uh, like Talia costs four, and so I don't want them to just like Talia and and copy this on disc. If it was important, they should have built it better. No. Opponent being a big jerk. Oh, is Talia five mana? Okay, because it's a two four. Okay, so that that's what was in my mind was the four. I guess I can like click on it. Yeah, it's five mana. Okay, wait, what? Grant your sand soldiers ever plus one plus zero. Bask in the sunlight. Cool. Renekton was the champion that I wanted. Let's go, Rennington. Because we can, like, you know, maybe attack with Rennington one time, have it do a bunch of damage, and then, like, Siphoning Strike, have it do some more damage. I guess that would level it up, and then this Ascendance Rise doesn't do very much, but... Yeah. All right, so this is going to... So we're going to Hourglass this. Hourglass is a really cool card. So it has the Countdown 1, and then it will come back into play. Um, oh, that's that's a good card. Because then with this Countdown 1, it'll come back into play, and it'll hit the. we should hit the Allegiance again. And so we'll draw another champion. So draw Azir. Not bad, not bad. So zero's at seven out of ten. Um, so I can go there is no place for savagery in the new Azir and Strike or Azir and Desert Naturalist. So Azir's at nine out of ten. I think the strike should be good for me. I don't know. Mm. I'm gonna do it. I'm just, I don't know, you know, like, it's just new cards, new region. I don't know exactly what could go wrong here. That's what's up. Dude, Renekton big. Azir big. Champions big. And now, leveled up Rennington whenever it attacks gives plus three, plus three this round. Charima, your emperor has returned. And with him, our greatest year. Share the bounty of our success. Kind of just play this rock hopper. If it's made of sand, I can light it. So that's nine. All right, so I guess that was a downside is they could play two. You know, they got two things in play. So I want to level up this Azir. We really need to be leveled up, though. I mean, whenever I attack, it will level up anyway. All right, we'll just attack. Yeah, attacking will, like, level it up afterwards, right? It's so, like we won't get, like, the bonus for like putting in the, the other thing, but we can only go six wide anyway, and we can still attack six wide, so let's just attack. Not here, not now. There we go. And then even though like our, you know, like this champion, I guess would take some damage, but we would have the thing that would heal our champions anyway. All right, well that was awesome. One game in, it worked. Okay. Shurima Freljord.
Zagalapopo. I'm doing good. How are you doing, my man? Okay, so we're going to keep Rennington and Mulligan all these. What we got? Lissandra, Talia? Yeah, let's do that. I mean, this Golden Ambassador was pretty awesome. Drawing the champion, getting it plus two, plus two. That was pretty awesome. That plus two, plus two. Maybe I keep that instead of Rennington. And I just, you know, draw my 6-6 six, six Rennington instead of a 4-4. Four, four. Wow, we're so lucky. We got a Barry Sand Sun Disk, our one drop in hand to turn one again. How do we keep being so lucky? Mm. Let's go Rock Hoppa. So I'm thinking Rock Hoppa, because instead of the Chronomancer, because I kind of want to play this Researchers. And then Chronomancer. So like Researchers has like some really high potential, but it's not it's not gonna be consistent at all. Um oh this is kind of annoying. So they're just gonna chat they're gonna have their 3-1 kill my 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but that's just how life is. Yeah. That's new. Watch me. My board. Yeah, I think I want to do the three damage. Let's see what happens. I'm probably playing this Golden Ambassador. If we don't know what we hit with the plus three plus three, but it's possible. Let's say it's possible we hit a champion, and then we also draw that champion with the Golden Ambassador. Like it's it's possible. It's probably not likely, but it's possible. Yeah, predict means um, it's kind of like invoke, where you look at you look at you just look at three cards in your deck and you decide which one to put on top. So you decide you kind of decide what you want the top card of your deck to look like. Do these eight eights have overwhelm? Please don't. Man, why do those things have overwhelm? So we look at three random cards in our deck. Let's keep let's take this siphoning strike. Um, how do I kill? Talia still. I guess exhaust. Yeah, exhaust. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. So that's gonna be our next our next card on top is gonna be that siphoning strike. Ooh. Oh right, it's leveled up. So that's gonna like kill me. Um mm, mm, mm. Alright. They're at seven. I hope this works. Hooray! All right, more plus two, plus two everywhere for our champions. Oh, that's a good draw. That's a good draw. Rude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've been, I mean, we've been attacking a decent amount. That's an ally. Um, so this is at seven. Let's go eight, nine. You are children of Shurima. Arrows at the ready. Yeah, why not? Faithless creature. Um, you should watch this. It's been taking four. 
I don't know if I should make this block with a Zier. I don't know, this is a lot of damage coming in. Alright, so I can Hourglass my Naturalist and kill this Frozen Thrall. But it's it's almost like like exactly where am I going from there. I think I'm just going to play this Chronomancer instead. Yuck, these are not great. These are not great. I don't, want I don't really want any of those. Oh, good thing I didn't do that. It's a play effect, not summon effect. Good thing I didn't do that. Okay, and this is play predict, so I can't really do that. I guess I just kill an ally and just kill this 2-1. Because if I attack and put the the whatever thing into play attacking anyway, then I don't have room anyway. I wish I had one more mana and, and had this Ancient Hourglass available, but... Okay, there we go. That's game. Three. Got the seven. Awesome. Well, that worked out. All right, another Azir deck. This one with Lucian. I guess, I think my opponent has some champion mastery. I think that's what those, those things are. I think that's what that means is champion mastery. So they're they're pretty mastered with their deck over there. Um, I like Ascendance Rise. Um, I don't know. What am I looking for? I just go turn three Azir, I guess. Do I even want that? I send it all back. Okay, cool. I have the attack token turn one. I think I play this Dune Keeper turn one while I'm attacking. I could just play it on defense also, though. And then what? I play the Sun Disc on turn two. Yeah, that's fine. This one drop is strong. We got Stabby Soldiers. Sand Stab. Yeah, four damage, one drop. Strong. <laughs> so, do you want a Renekton? I'll think about not attacking. What do we got? Yeah, the plus two, plus zero gives something vulnerable. Uh, I can maybe attack with this. Yeah, maybe we'll just stack here. They block with their 2 3. That's probably fine to get. Yeah, basically what we did there is got another level up on on that. And, and you know, we did some damage over here. Emperor's Dias. Okay, Siphoning Strike is what's up. Oh no! Wait, that's bad, right? No, maybe it's not that bad. What? Give something plus three, plus one? Well, that's really bad.
I've learned. Oh, right. That's how that card works. Hey, Cotterox. Well, that hurt. The boy who plays at the Emperor. And the once beloved soldier, no longer fit to serve. Okay, they didn't have any special trick there. All right, Great Horn Companion. Please don't kill my Renekton. So many of those things. Ugh. I guess that's me taking nine. I can't take nine. Fishies, what's up? Thanks so much for the the resub there. Our fifth sub on the day already. Thank you so much, Fishies. Happy two years. Um. So yeah, we got a block. So that's puts me to one. I'm really glad. Really glad this Greyhorn Companion is not attacking. Uh, this doesn't isn't looking good for me. I need to heal my Nexus. I need that three drop that can heal Nexus. Man, and I need <laughs> really what I need is is like one more thing to level up this Azir, because then that would level up that. I mean, I guess I mean I could just play this Ascendance Rise. So if I if I play the Ascendance Rise, I mean I guess this thing is really big like that. Wait, what's going on over here? Stop! Get out of here! Okay, Cataclysm and Ally starts a free attack challenging an enemy. So I guess I got to Hourglass that, right? Because if I let this happen, then they're just attacking. So if I Hourglass this, I assume it's not attacking anymore. Okay, good. Probably me still dying, but there we go. Okay, maybe they don't have anything to attack with. No attackers, no attackers. Or it's just one single attacker. Strike. Kill it. That's two. Plus two. There we go. Got him. Wow. So close. Stabilized at one. GG's. Nice young avocado. You got to you got to do the Emperor's deck. Nice. I haven't been able to do that yet. Okay. You're gone, and we're keeping the rest. Dude, 
Dude, we're so lucky. We always keep drawing like this one mana card right at the beginning of the game. Just to play on turn one. So lucky. Okay, good curve. Boom. These cards hit pretty hard from Shirima. These three ones. Um, I guess Azir. Make some sand attackers. Some stabby, stabby sand soldiers. What's up, Forks? Yeah, dude, these decks are sweet. Dude, you should definitely start up Runeterra again. Perfect time to do it. All right, so are they going to, like, Avalanche? I guess maybe that's a thing. Like, I Golden Ambassador, they Avalanche. That could be a thing. Um, maybe I should just attack. Uh, I don't really want to. Uh, but I want to play more things. Um, yeah, I could just go Chrono. And then they do something, and then that pop. They do if they play a unit that pops my Rock Hopper, and then I get to Doom Keeper. I'm just gonna attack. I, I think I think playing Golden Ambassador is my best play this turn. Because then, like next turn, I can have like you know, yeah, I, I want to play Golden Ambassador this turn. Deal one to everything. Well, I'm... that's a lot of things to do one. To deal one to everything. Alright, so Zero's at three. Secrets Ooh, that card's scary. But it is vulnerable. Golden Ambassador drawing Renekton is nasty. Six six overwhelm. It's nasty. Uh, that's a quick pass. Is that a I want to play Avalanche this turn pass? That's what it feels like. You're at five. Stop. Get out of here. I I enjoy the games with Rune Terra more. Hmm. This looks like a. This looks like a. I mean, what kind of attack is this? It's got to be. Is there a new card that's not just Avalanche? I don't know. Yeah, that's Avalanche. So you're at seven. The three sisters with the flash freeze. And then another ice shard. Feel the power of true ice. Our sun Alright, let's go with Let me hear you call draw another champion. And then predict that will level up Azir. Okay, I can go the Ascendant's Rise to level up Renekton. And then level it, leveling up Renekton will level up the Sun Disk. All Rise. No, we just we, so yeah, we just have the two champions, Azir and Renekton. The cold creeps in. Can't spoil our moment. Flash freeze, fury of the North, or in tomb. Sure. All right, so I hope they can't kill my Renekton. I'm going for it. Three, just three mana. 
to deal two damage with three mana. Not easy. I'm going for it. Oh no! Come on, opponent! Let me do it! Why concede? Let me do it. We're going to turn both of our champions to level three for the first time ever. Would have had an Emperor's deck. No. Come on. <laughs> All these opponents are just conceding. Well, we're 4 0. Whoa. Opponents not playing Sharima. We got the fun police over here. The fun police playing the broken stuff, just beating up on all these poor opponents playing the cool new things. What's our champion spell? Okay, our champion spell's not any good. Alright, replace that. Fun police alert. We got the prismatic sun disk. That's gonna really, really help our game. Cause see, it's already at 24 now, cause it's a prismatic. Go get him. <laughs> the jackal cackle. Hadn't used the jackal cackle yet. Oh, wow. They're going Prismatic Aphelios. Wow, that's broken. Okay, so I guess... I think I have to go with the... I, have to, I think I just have to attack immediately. Um, unfortunately. Basically, because Twisted Fate would wreck us pretty bad. I think I like Twisted Fate red card. This will force them to like use mana to protect Aphelios, which means no mana for a Twisted Fate. I don't even know. Maybe I should have just gone Rennington. If I go Rennington, they go red card. I still attack with Rennington. I think that would have been a thing to do. Ugh, Calibrum? Yuck. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. Man, this was a lot more fun before Aphelios. But you never know. We got we had a super fast start. We had a great we have a great, great hand. Oh, what a draw. That's a perfect draw for the next attack turn for the Rennington. We'll have the Rennington champion spell anyway, but that's a perfect draw. Okay, so they're trying to get Boxtopus. Alright, right in negation or not. So Boxtopus kills the researchers. I think we do this. I think I have to kill Aphelios. Aphelios. Is the Azir block, or is, yeah, is the Azir attack good? I think so, because yeah, they block Azir, then they take two from this thing. Charmed, I'm sure. Okay, got him down to five with our stabby soldier. And we got Aphelios gone. 
Ooh, I love that hourglass. That's a good hourglass. But I don't have... <laughs> I don't have a unit to play right now. Alright, what do you... What are you challenging? They're probably challenging something, right? Yuck. What are you challenging? Nothing? Alright, well, it's challenging something. Renekton. Stacking the odds. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, we'll have leveled up. Um, person, Azir. Arise. All right, let's go. Let's go. Can we get there? No, not hush. Ugh. Stop. Felio twisted at fate. <laughs> we had such a such a great hand. We had the the perfect hand. Come on. All right, well, they're still alive. For a little bit. Let me hear you call our Emperor's name. All right, so is this still at zero? Man, Rannikton's still at zero. Ooh. Devoted Council, kind of cool. Yeah, so we have to get to... We have to get this thing seven more turns to get the... Never lost a fair game. Zero. To level three. Your devotion gives the city life. I've already used a couple of box to puss. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. And there we go. Because of course we had that plus two plus two champion because the golden ambassador. And we had a perfect hand and we defeated the bad guys. Twisted Fate Aphelios down. Look at that. We won all five. And now we're in plat three. GG's. So there we go. That was super exciting. Our very first Sharima deck. We're going all 40 Sharima cards with Azir and Rennington. And it was awesome. We did a really good job drawing our champions. We got really lucky having the Buried Sun Disc in our opening hand every single game. Maybe that has to do with the very first line of the card. I don't know. Um, but we didn't actually get to get any of our Ascended Allies to level 3. That was too bad. Our opponents kept conceding. That, like There was like two games that we were going to have our, our, um, our champions go to level 3, but our opponents conceded too fast. I really like this Siphoning Strike card. I think this card is super strong. It's a good removal spell, and then giving, giving your allied champion, like giving all of your champions everywhere plus 2, plus 2 for the rest of the game, that's insane. This card looks really strong. The Ride of Negation did some good work for us. Um, it was, you know, it was nice having a, a flexible deny there. Thank you, Jan. Um, Golden Ambassador, though, the Allegiance card for this is insane. Draw a champion and grant it plus two, plus two. You know, like, that's, <laughs> this card is insane. Wow, you know, like, that's a Celestial four mana card, but this just comes along with a 3-2 body, and it's an Allegiance, so it's a summon. So if you have anything uh, like an Ancient Hourglass, <laughs> and then you put it back into play, get another champion... Wow, this with the plus two, plus two. Yeah, this Golden Ambassador was crazy, crazy good. Um, yeah, our Naturalist did some good work for us because we were played against a bunch of other Shurima decks with, with it being right away Shurima time. Um, this was awesome. You know, Azir just kind of sits there, levels up. Not too difficult to level up Azir. Rennington, especially with the Siphoning Strike, was really good. But um, another card that was awesome was Exhaust. This card was super good. The minus two, minus zero, and Vulnerable. This, yeah, this was really, really nice having that, uh, given that challenger and, um, you know, having that removal and everything. So 
we didn't get to do anything like super cool xenotype researchers unfortunately we didn't get to like i was hoping that like the researchers would hit a champion they would get plus three plus three and then we go golden ambassador and draw it and get plus two plus two and they'd have a plus five plus five i don't you know one can dream <laughs> one can dream all right but there we go that's our deck azir rennington awesome one to start with we're gonna have two other um decks with uh both new champions we're gonna play siver leblanc and kindred nasa so two other decks with uh both new champions for today those y'all watching later on youtube y'all know that drill hit that like button but leave those comments what'd you think of the video what'd you think of the deck how do you like sharima all these awesome new quests you know for the region rewards and then also for the event and for the card styles there's just so many different um quests and everything and and uh, now we have champion mastery also so we're leveling up our champions like that's that's really cool how we're doing that now too um wherever wherever it keeps track of that i don't know where it does but <laughs> you know that's that's just another cool thing so um yeah this game's just awesome all right so uh real exciting times here with the new region sharima you know let me know what what kind of what kind of decks do you want to see what what kind of decks do you want me to build let me know all right but that's all i got here for this one so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video